But when, you, when the U.S. and the U.K. and NATO say that they're going into Libya or they're going into Syria or Afghanistan for their security, that is fucking bullshit. When you talk about national security, that means someone is on your doorstep, on your doorstep with weapons and trying to antagonize you. When you go to China, to the South China Sea, and create a military partnership and start giving Australia nuclear-powered submarines, you are antagonizing China. You are on China's doorstep, not China on your doorstep. When you go to Iran and you put aircraft carriers in the Persian Gulf and, and bases and all these Arab Kingdom sellouts around Iran and encircle it, and you, you're in Afghanistan and you're in Iraq from the left and the right, the west and the east, and you've encircled Iran, you are the fucking threat to Iran, not the other way around. And when you're doing that shit to Russia, you are the motherfucking threat to Russia. Don't come here and try to reinvent geography, you prick. This is outrageous. Look at the fucking map. Just look at the map. This is a fact. The West broke its word. It's been threatening Russia ever since. And this whole crisis today could have been avoided. If you are coming to me and you're saying Putin is insane, Putin is evil, Putin is the devil himself. Why the fuck then are you giving him all the ammunition and the arguments that he needs to go into Ukraine? Why did you hand him this ammunition? Why didn't you say, okay, we're not going to take in NATO. Okay, we're not going to put NATO troops on your border because we understand that you have security concerns and we're going to respect you. Why didn't you tell Ukraine to abide by the Minsk agreements? Why did you give Putin everything he wanted if you're really so sure that he's just a greedy fucking psychopath and Russia is not a, a country with valid security concerns? This whole thing could have been avoided. I, I am so, so, so distraught and sick of these fucking two-faced motherfuckers who, who say nothing.